my name is Ali Shesava from Breacher Digital and in this series of short introductory videos we are going to talk about EMC, what is EMC, the regulation associated with EMC and the tests that we have to carry out in order to meet the law. So first what is EMC? EMC stands for electromagnetic compatibility and effectively what we are trying to do here is to make sure that our product does not interfere with another product within the electromagnetic medium, i.e. you don't want your mobile phone, for example, to interfere with a pacemaker. In a less extreme case, let's say you have got a product that you are selling, you don't want the emissions from this to interfere with radio signals or television signals that somebody else has got. On the other side, we also do not want emissions from other devices to interrupt the operation of our device. And these are some immunity tests. So, so within the concept of electromagnetic compatibility, we also want to make sure that our device does not stop malfunctioning because of somebody else's mobile phone nearby transmitting RF energy. In order to ensure electromagnetic compatibility, there is the uh, European EMC Directive, which is the law that we have to adhere to when we design our product. The directive itself falls back on a series of standards, which uh, will vary depending on your product and application and where it's going to be used. And the standards define what levels of emission uh, what levels of immunity your product must have and also they state what to test and how to test it. Broadly speaking, these tests fall into two major categories, emissions and immunity, well sometimes called susceptibility. Emissions is primarily concerned with what your product is emitting, what kind of RF uh, frequencies your product is emitting and, and is making sure that this does not disturb other products. Immunity is concerned with how immune your product is from emissions from other emitters of RF energy. Um, these tests then are subdivided into two each, so we have conducted emissions and conducted immunity, that is what is happening through the cables, and radiated emissions and radiated immunity, and that is what's happening through the air. And over the next few videos we're going to talk about all of these tests, or the most common ones of these tests, and we're going to explain what they're all about, and we hope that you enjoyed this series of videos.